Hi, as you can see, I've got a Honda GC190 uh, engine. It's in my motorized wheelbarrow here, or tract, garden tract, or whatever you want to call it. And what I want is a remote engine kill switch. And the kill switch I've already uh, placed there. I've got it working, but I thought it'd be worthwhile just making a quick video in case anyone else uh, needs to add a remote kill switch. Now, by default, there is a kill switch on this. This is the one, I think there's various versions of this engine. This one has the uh, throttle control. And when the throttle control lever is fully depressed, it pushes a switch here, which then shorts the ignition coil to ground. So that's all you need to do. Now, uh, to gain access to the wiring on the ignition coil, it's just three nuts there. They're really easy to remove. I've already taken those nuts off. There's nothing to fall out, so don't worry. I was a little bit uh, feeling, oh, when I take these off, is everything going to ping out from the recoil starter, but it doesn't, no. And then, so, let's just take that out. And then this is the coil. And then this is the wire which leads to the push-to-make switch down here. And when, as I say, when that is depressed, then it just shorts it to ground. So, I mean, what you could do if you wanted to stop the engine, you could just take a wire straight from that terminal and just short it anywhere to ground. Now, if you've got good bonding between the engine and, say, the chassis, then you should also be able to short it to the chassis. Now, what I've had running... By the way, I just put that on loosely there, OK? It would stay on a little bit more firmly normally. Uh, so what I've done, I've just run an additional wire here. So that wire then just goes to the switch. At the end, it just threads through here. And then uh, all I then need to do is to just at uh, the switch and just short that to ground. Now I could have shorted it to the framework, but just to be on the absolute safe side, I've run a return wire back from that switch, which I've then um, screwed down onto a known good ground point because I wasn't 100% satisfied that I would have good earth bonding between the engine and the chassis. And so that works. Now, if you want to have a remote kill switch and also still retain this kill switch, you can just add one of these uh, type of crimp connectors, which would then allow you to then uh, put the original switch uh, onto one tab and then to push that down onto the uh, tab terminal there on the coil. And that's it. I mean, it really is as simple as that. So, yeah. Um, hopefully that's useful to someone if you want to add a remote kill switch. I might uh, in just a moment just start the, start the engine up and then just show you it working. But it definitely does work. 